got to be a special place above for a coach's wife. And I'd like you to please welcome the very special Ann Bowden. Thank you so much, Chris. Gee, you're a great looking audience out there. And uh, I tell you, isn't college football about the most exciting experience you could ever have? <laughs> You know, they say that great coaches don't win football games, but great players do. And we've seen some great players up here tonight. They gave me 45 seconds to say what I wanted to say. And I tell you what, I've never done anything in 45 seconds. I spent three days trying to decide what not to say. And uh, I kind of put it off to the last minute because I had an engagement last night. So this morning I said, well, I'll do it over the morning paper and our coffee. I'll jot a, coffee. I'll jot a few things down to say. And so when we sat down to have our coffee, our power went off and we didn't have any light. <laughs> so I was kind of out of luck there. So in the car driving over, we had a driver to drive us over. So it took about four hours. And so I jotted down some notes in the car. So if you'll forgive me for referring to my notes, it would have been easier to read that teleprompter back there. <laughs> but I got a few things down. And um, they asked me, they said, why do you think that Bobby Bowden deserves this award? And I said, frankly, I think that he and Joe Paterno should have a statue erected at the Hall of Fame holding hands and walking into the sunset with a sign underneath that says, well done. <laughs> you done good. What do you think I should get for being married 60 years to um, a football coach? Bobby deserves this recognition for being a great role model for young men and women and for our own children and grandchildren. <clears throat> Frankly, what do you think I should get for lasting 60 years married to a football coach? Bobby deserves this recognition for being a great role model for young men and women and for our own children and grandchildren. He has had to sacrifice much of his time with his family. They said something to me about me sacrificing a lot. Actually, I think it's the coaches that sacrifice a lot with their families and what their children go through as they grow up and the activities that they, sh uh, that they have. He has never faltered in his faith. And Tim, I was impressed by your remarks because you know, faith's what brings you through, faith and family. And uh, we've had the honor of having a great family and a great faith. And I've watched him grow stronger through the years. His best, uh, his, well, his faith has grown a few, not his, no, I got it wrong. His belt has grown a few notches. <laughs> they asked me how I thought he's changed. And I said, his belt has grown a few notches and his hair a little grayer. There's a small bald spot in the back of his head, but inside, he's still the man that I married 60 years ago. Well, almost, with a few changes. He's a little more tolerant and understanding and has the same will and determination and competitiveness. I'd like to thank you for having him, giving him this award tonight and allowing me to come and be a part of this. And to present it to him.